Alrighty, hello wine crew and welcome to one of my studios and, and my uh, friend, my good friend Melinda and thank you for having us over at your home. Of course. And um, we're doing a live virtual for you guys talking about some of our newest members of the collection, our love language, the wine is my love language from One Hope. So we have here the Chardonnay, it's an un -oak Chardonnay, we also have our red blend that we're going to be sampling today. And um, full disclosure, I haven't tried these yet. So we're going to get first so. impressions here. And um, getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. I know Melinda's wine profile is very similar to mine. We're both red wine drinkers. And yet when I started with One Hope, something that got both of our attention was the One Hope Chardonnay. Yeah. And um, from the Vintner collection. So... Hopefully this will make a, that's a really small impression. Um, <laughs> hopefully this will make a similar impression. So, um, yeah, again, our, this is our unoaked Chardonnay. Mm. <clears throat> really nice nose. I can really smell the pineapple in this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very bright, yeah. vibrant. Uh, yeah, tropicalness, that's, that's, um, not the same kind of tropicalness oh, that you're going to get in Pinot Grigio, mm -hmm. but beautiful. a tropical that I'm not used to getting from a Chardonnay, because I'm used to oat Chardonnay, so it's going to be a very different impression. Mm -hmm. It's got, it's like a fresh, clean um, fruit, uh, I mean, it really, mm. the, the pineapple flavor is really bright. It Very just bright. comes out. It's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, I don't normally like whites. I you know, full disclosure. <laughs> but we, we normally this avoid one's beautiful, yeah. Chardonnay on the flight. That's why I want to let the viewers know, those of you who don't go wine tasting with us, we usually avoid Chardonnay specifically. But um one hope really knows what they're doing and the region as well. It really is important where they source the grapes. These ones are um California source, which means that they have the liberty to source the grapes from primary regions that grow them very well. So like Napa, Sonoma, even Paso Robles has a good collection of Chardonnay. The, the cooler climates in the evening, mm -hmm. warmer climates during the day, but more towards the coast. And that's what that tastes like to me. That yeah. tastes like a region that really knows how to grow good Chardonnay. That's, that's so, beautiful. An oak Chardonnay. Um, it does have some sweet um, floral, so it, it's it does, not too dry. Yeah, it's not too dry. Not too dry. It, it, this would be good with fish. Ooh. A white fish. Mm -hmm. I think this would be beautiful with that, yeah. Fish and chips, because you know, those of you who know me, you know I'm not going to eat a fish, but I'll eat it deep fried. And so, <laughs> fish and chips. He's, this, he's not a seafood eater. I am not a no, seafood eater. Not at all. This will be good with a salad as well. Yeah, I can um, see that's very light. It you know um, we are in cooler weather, but um, and we're getting into the heavy calorie season things like that. But maybe you want to have like a spinach salad, spinach and walnut. Yeah, salad to and, balance and, out like balance the Christmas, out. <laughs> so, <laughs> the holiday meals that are so heavy. Yeah. So you have your salad in the afternoon, and then your heavy meal with your reds that we're going to get to here yeah. in a minute. And so yeah, I I would highly recommend this. Another thing about our love language collection, it's very affordable and very approachable. Um, something that One Hope strives to do in, um, is supporting nonprofit causes right. and causes that, that are important to you. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I'm doing a lot to support victims of violent crime. I'm doing a lot to support Luigi Alvarez Rewards for Justice, as well as Crosstown Community Church that's connected to all these different um, advocacy groups and uh, nonprofits. So what uh, One Hope is about is enjoying quality award-winning wine as well as giving back to nonprofits. Sure. And um, part of making Napa approachable is, frankly, making the price affordable and approachable as well. Um, so this one currently retails at uh, 20 and then by quantity discount, it takes it down even more than that. It's very affordable, very approachable. And, you know, when you're hosting people this season, you're going to want to... Frankly, you're going to want to, you're going to want white wine for those who are white wine drinkers and are looking for it. And also as a, like an opener to your holiday meals and then a red for those who are just red drinkers. You're going to want a red and a white. If you want to go further than that, you can also have a rosé yeah. available when you're entertaining guests. Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
right. Very good. We've got our um, California Red Blend. And so the California Red Blend, this is a curated blend of California red wine varietals. And so I don't know what the mixture is. Typically with the with the One Hope what? Reds. I know, but so we're gonna try to guess. We're All gonna right. try to All guess. Right. Because I've already got I've already got a message out to the the home office. They haven't answered me yet. <laughs> so hint hint. Hint hint. <laughs> um I'm guessing by the color because uh, Melinda's really good at this actually. Um, looking at the color and we're gonna get the nose here in a minute and the palette. Um, what those grapes are. Um, I don't detect any of the deeper fruit like Petite Syrah or anything like that just because it's not doesn't have the inkiness but um, mm, It's got like a spice to it. That's probably Zinfandel. Yeah, that may be Zinfandel So there may be I'm guessing there might be some cab in here yeah. There may be some Merlot in here that gives it volume and mm -hmm. and some of the coloration But then the spice that you're detecting mm-hmm I wouldn't be surprised if it was North Coast Zinfandel. Yeah, that's a possibility. Because mm -hmm. a Zinfandel, a really good Zinfandel, is going to have that uh, fruitiness. Mm, it's like a peppery finish. Like and a, a peppery finish. Like a, um, a cab would have. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. It's uh, cherry. I, there's mm -hmm. a cherry flavor to it. So I'm thinking that that could be part of like... A, the profile of uh, a cherry zin, cola. A zin, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, the cherries definitely like when a fruit forward zin. Zin, yeah. Um, and there goes that spice on the finish, mm -hmm. and it's it's not an overwhelming mm -hmm. spice, which so, has to do with the blend. Yeah, and you will actually get some of that on a on a really good cab. And again, talking about the regions, this is a region, the Napa region, Sonoma region. Paso Robles, very good regions for growing Cabernet grapes. Cabernet is actually one of the most common grapes grown in all of California. Mm. This goes down really easy. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And very smooth. Um, very conducive to, I can see this with a variety of holiday favorites, um, turkey, gravy, the potatoes. Um, because it's a blend, mm -hmm. you're gonna, um, if you're going to a dinner party and you're not familiar with people's tastes, I would personally recommend bringing a red blend mm -hmm. because you're gonna please more palates that way rather than bringing a single varietal. So that's just my um, holiday dinner party gathering tip um, is, to, is to get a red blend and you can gift it. So get, bring one to the dinner party and then gift, gift it. Yeah. Gift it as well. Right? This is beautiful. Um, this would taste good mm. with some pizza, all kinds of different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. A pizza. Yeah. Um, definitely. Um, and any type of pizza. Pizzas with um, uh, ham, um, pepperoni, any type. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, one of my favorites, The um, there's an artichoke bacon. Bacon, that's what I was thinking of. The crispy bacon would go really good with this. No, I'm thinking <laughs> vegetarian pizza. Mm. No. <laughs> don't let, don't choke on your wine over here. <laughs> you want to go vegetarian? He's all, um, what do you mean vegetarian? <laughs> I'm not going to have vegetarian with a side of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yes, like a, yeah, even a margarita pizza would go really oh, well yeah, with this. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, the basil. The herbalness of um, what you would find in like a vegetarian pizza mm -hmm. or, or a margarita pizza with the basil yeah. would go very well, very balanced with this red. Mm -hmm. um, you could do it with lunch. You could do it as an opener. Generally, you know, people open up with a rosé or a white, but this is um, medium bodied enough that you can use as an opener as well as the main, yeah, yeah. main feature. Exactly. Well, cheers to the holidays, y'all. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Thanks Merry for Christmas. tuning in. Thanks for tuning and in. Tune in again. We're going to have another bonus um, coming up on another evening. God bless you. Bye-bye now.